So we've got this problem from the last video where the arms of the unreal mannequin are going inside the body. So we've got to fix that. The reason is that the Y bot is in a T pose and the animations work relative to the initial pose, it seems. Since the Manny Simple rig is in an A pose, it gets the positions wrong. There's one thing, did I, ah, before I go any further, this might mess up. I got it. I forgot to right click on the route and set the target route. I did it on the IK Y bot, but I forgot to do it on this IK Manny Simple IK rig. And when you do, they ask you if you have want to apply a vertical offset to the root bone. I would say no, because it will shove it up in the air. Need to save that. Don't do that. You can't repose this mesh. So I'm going to set that to zero so that they're on top of one another. I'm going to go to the right view and in the uh, left, we need to find the upper arm. Let's do the left upper arm. First thing you need to do is make sure you've got world coordinates on and you then need to duplicate the current pose. So I'm going to go create duplicate current and that's on the target you can switch between target and source that's the source that's the target so make sure you've got the target selected and then duplicate current and i'm going to call that t pose if you now click edit mode with the relevant bones selected you can reposition so i can now do this and i'm using the other mesh as a sort of reference to try and get it relatively the same i think that will do you can switch all the bones on but i think that's confusing what happens if i do that bones all bone hierarchy yeah it can be a bit i don't know let's have a look oh it's not bad yes let's leave the bones on i don't think we need to alter this much do we let's have a look Provided it's parallel, these meshes are slightly different size as well, as you can see. And we're going to have to do the hands because they're curved. Let's do the, um, I guess I can select that. So if I do this right arm and so look, that'll do, I think. We need to go to the top because the arms are bent forward so uh, I already had that selected so if I do that just make it parallel it the our mesh is somewhat displaced I could actually change that it's a bit forward of the other mesh isn't it if I um click that to come out and click on a blank area I can once that it's the Y isn't it so I can move it yes let's do that so if I go back into edit mode and select that I think it's slightly out that's better and this one it's not lining up with the wrist see that so you're not going to get it exact, but as close as possible should be sufficient. I think the hand is probably in need of rotation like that. And same on this one, of course. go back into perspective for a moment and you can see the hands need sorting out um, in fact if I go to right I think I need I don't know it's debatable it's a bit confusing on the hands because they're so complicated compared to other um, things other parts of the mesh I'm not going to do the legs or anything else so I've got to do these fingers and I think the best way is to come out of this and move the target mesh 250 units along so it's now you can see on the Y bot the 
fingers are very flat straight I should say uh, if you look at the top they're parallel so we need to do that otherwise the punch might be a bit odd so I'm going to zoom in on our mesh now I find this difficult because there's lots of things in the way of each other so instead of wireframe I would recommend possibly lit and you need to select index 01L and we need to be in edit mode again so I can now rotate this finger it really is quite difficult to see where you are maybe oh I need to switch the bones off that's why it's complicated if I go to character and switch bones off none I think that's easier you can see the finger now I go to the uh, other knuckle make these as straight as possible I think the hand might need rotating in the which plane is it in the other plane if you go to um, is it front yeah these I'm thinking if I click on the hand it needs to be possibly like that so that the knuckles are sort of parallel with the ground um, so if I go back to right and now middle finger make that parallel as much as possible to the index and you can spend hours tweaking these I think that's not quite right go back to the first one something like that now the two back ones are difficult to see so if you go to the uh, to left you can see them better and uh, we want pinky no not pinky one let's do the ring finger first because the pinky will get in the way and whoops the other way and the tip we need to straighten in so it's roughly parallel and then the pinky and that one whoops keep going the wrong way I think that's okay I think I've, I think there's an issue with the thumb actually if we look at the Y bot yeah it's sticking out a bit more I think yes so if I go to the thumb where's that gone here and I'm just gonna bend it out a bit it's straight it was actually I don't know something like that anyway the right hand now um, yeah this is going to be difficult it? because uh, hang on bottom top front with it back yes um, I can't see it because the wide bots in the way so I'm going to come out and move the um, target mesh like so I can see it because I want to rotate this hand a bit so I'll go back into edit mode and it's the right one now so right hand and uh, let's just do that so that there's a horizontal line if you like between the pinky knuckle and the index one that's parallel with the ground so to speak and we want right so now um, don't know if that needs tweaking but in fact this hand is the one we're really interested in this is the one that's going to do the punch 
So uh, let's have a look. Index. I'm sure these are all in different. Yeah, they've got them in different orders on the different hand. Just notice that. On the left hand, the index finger is the first one in the hierarchy, whereas on the right, it's the pinky. Anyway, if we go to the index and we tweak that up. As we as we did on the left hand. Then which one is it? It's the middle. Um, move that up. So it's parallel. Move that one again and the tip. And go around the back, which is left, isn't it? And we want the uh, ring. We want the ring finger. Parallel. Got a feeling it's not quite right. Maybe like that. And then the pinky. Uh, the pinky's, yeah, here we are. So need to possibly do it like that we look at the top ah there's something else as well anyway the thumb I did bend it out a bit didn't I now if you look at the Y bot hand where's it gone the fingers are much more parallel, whereas here they're splayed out a bit. So I'm going to adjust that. So uh, let's do the index. I'm going to tweak it in a bit. It's parallel. The middle. Uh, ring finger. And the pinky. And we need to do that on this hand. The index. I'm sure that index is a bit bent actually. I think it is. It looks a bit like a banana. Did I straighten those on the right hand? Still a bit bent. Um, ring finger, I think, and the pinky looks a bit curved. I don't know why they're like that, but that's looking a lot better, a lot more like the Y bot. So on the left one, index finger, right a minute. That needs to be like that. The middle. ring finger I think it needs straightening a bit perhaps and the pinky it's sticking out doing it sticking out like that I think it's a bit bent Okay, I'm going to um, come out of this, save it, go into perspective, 
and um, I'll select there set this to zero now now if I double click the right hook animation you can see now it's working so much better You can change here the retarget posing. You can see it's, that's what we had. But if I select the T pose, it's working better. So I'm going to pause this and save it to make sure we saved everything. And then if I select the right hook animation, you get this button export selected animation. It generates a new we targeted sequence asset on the target skeletal mesh uses current retargeting configuration. So this is what we want. So I'll click that. I'm going to stick it in melee attack and I'm going to have to rename this actually. Um, right, let's put retargeted on it. Something like that and export. And there it is. Um, it's called right hook retargeted. I might as I say, call it punch attack retargeted or something. Now, if we double click this, it will play. So that's now working. So that's how you do a retarget. Close all these windows down. Now, what I also want to do is to create an anim montage. So if I click on our new anim sequence, I right click on it and uh, it's create anim montage. And I'm going to stick with the suggested name actually. It's a bit of a long name. Perhaps I should have called that Let's delete that. I'm going to rename this actually. Um, just punch attack. And then when we create a new montage, you just go with the name. It's a bit better. So it's called punch attack montage. And I can open this up. And it's all set up for us. The you may notice that the mannequin is up in the air, but that doesn't matter because we're only going to be using the top half of this animation, and we'll be doing that in the next um, videos. So I shall save that, and that's it for this video.